Hello everyone. Okay. All right. So um, someone requested for this. So this is going to be the next program in the other requested um, Java programs. Okay. In the in that playlist. Okay. So I had to come up with the title of this question. Um, the person just gave me the question. So I realized that it was actually it's a program that calculates brokerage uh, bro brokerage um, uh, commissions. So that's how I named it. All right. So uh, a commodities broker requires a program to calculate a brokerage um, pr commissions. Write a program that asks the user if the transaction was a sale or a purchase, and then asks for the amount of the transaction. The program should then ask the user where the transaction was made. The user should enter E for Commodity Exchange, C for the New York Cotton Exchange, or M for the uh, Mercantile or Mercantile, I don't know, Mercantile, I'm guessing, all right, Mercantile or Mercantile Exchange. If the amount was a sale and was made at the commodity exchange, the commission rate is 5% of the amount. If a sale is made at the New York Cotton Exchange, the commission rate is, is 3% of the amount. If a sale is made at the Mercantile or Mercantile Exchange, the commission rate is 4.2% of the amount. If the transaction was a purchase at the commodity exchange, the rate commi commission is 6.3% of the amount. If a purchase is made at the cotton exchange, the commission rate is 4.3% 4, 4 of the amount. Um, if a purchase is made at the mercantile, again, or mercantile exchange, the, commi the commission rate is 5.7% of the amount. Okay, so basically we're going to ask the user a couple of questions. We're going to first of all ask, ask them um, if this transaction is a purchase or a sale, all right? And, and based on that, based on a transaction type, whether but whether it's a, it's a purchase or a sale, we have different percentages to calculate the commission, right? And so we're going to ask the user for whether the the purchase is a is a the, the the transaction type is a purchase or a sale, and then we're also going to ask the user for the transaction location, which is one of these. Um, so the, the the user is going to enter E for um, the, the Commodity Exchange, C for the New York uh, Cotton Exchange, and then M for the Mercantile Exchange, or Mercantile Exchange. I'm guessing it's Mercantile. All right, so yeah, so we're going to ask them for the tr transaction type, transaction location. We're also going to ask them for the amount. And then we're also going to ask them for Actually, no, we're going to ask them for the amount and then we're going to calculate the commission. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to go ahead and create a class, the class, public class, and I'll call this brokerage commissions. And then I'll go ahead and I'll create the main method. Okay, so since we're going to be asking the user for input, we have to use one of Java's features for accepting user input, right? So I'm going to, in this case, use a scanner class for this problem. I can go ahead and use a G-Option pane. I'm just using a scanner class. I'm just choosing to use a scanner class, all right? So to use a scanner class, we have to go ahead and import that class, right? You have to tell the program where the scanner class is. So I'm importing this kind of class in the java.util package, okay? So I'm, I'm importing the scanner class in the java.util package. Now with the scanner class, we have to go ahead and create a scanner object so we can use it to accept user input. So scanner, I'm creating a new scanner object. I'm calling it scanner, okay? So new scanner object. I'm, I'm, I'm creating a scanner object, I'm calling it scanner. And I'm going to create a new scanner object in memory here. I am passing in the system.in method, which is going to accept byte info from the keyboard and then connect that object to the scanner, um, you know, to, to, to this variable here, the class type variable, the reference variable. So this scanner variable is going to reference this kind of object that, that was created here in memory. Okay, so once we have the scanner, we can now use it to ask for input, ask, ask the questions. So let's see. Um, Write a program that is going to um, so that asks the user if the transaction was a sale or a purchase. So so let's go ahead and do that. Let's ask the user if the transaction is a is a sale or a purchase, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use a regular system dot to ask the user that. 
so is the transaction a sale or purchase all right so now we're going to use a scanner object that I just created over here to create that or to, or to to allow, um, accept that input from the user all right so I'm going to type scanner dot next line okay and scanner dot next line is basically going to pop up a text box and then allow the user to type in something whatever the user types is going to be um, uh, re returned as a string okay it's going to be returned as a string and when it's returned as a string we need a place to store it right so I'm going to create a variable called it's going to be a string because we want to know if the purchase is or if the transaction is a purchase or a sale right we want the user to type in either sale or purchase I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you know they didn't spe uh, specify how we should uh, um, how we should check whether the sale um, how we should check the input from the user whether it's a sale or a purchase so I'm going to accept the string sale or purchase from the from the user right so I'm going to store that input in a variable called let's say um, transaction type transaction type okay so it's going to be a string because whatever the user is going to type is going to be a string so transaction type and then transaction type is going to store whatever the user types okay convert it to a string here so we'll have the transaction type here let's also go ahead and use this same idea also to ask for the other information so the next thing we are going to ask for is the transaction location because I, I'm going to create a variable called transaction location it says the program should ask the user where, where the transaction was made where the transaction was made so that's the next thing we're going to the next thing we're going to ask the user so where was the transaction made and then we're also going to use the same scanner object to prompt the user to type in something and whatever the user types is going to be returned as a string right but we need a place to start so I'm going to go ahead and create another string variable and then I'm going to call this transaction location okay and then I'm going to store transaction location here all right now it says over here that the user should enter E for the commodity exchange C for the New York um, cotton exchange and then M for the mercantile exchange all right so we know what what the user should type or should enter we can we can actually specify here type E for um, commodity exchange type C for New York you know we can actually type it here but then just for the for the for the purposes of the, this program we know what we're going to type right but but just for user the, for the for the whole user experience you have to specify what they should type whether they should type E or C or or M okay so let's move on to the next thing we have to ask the user for over here it says if the amount was a sale okay if the amount was a sale so we have to ask the user for the amount also we need to know the amount right so I'm going to use that same idea I copied this I'm going to paste it and ask for the amount I'm just going to say please enter amount here now if I use scan the next line it's going to be a problem because now what the user is going to type it we need it as a number so we need to go ahead and convert what the user is going to type into a number so I'm going to change this first of all delete this variable change this from next line to next double and next double okay scanner dot next double is basically going to pop up some kind of text box and allow the user to type in something and whatever that user type uh, whatever whatever the user types is going to be returned as a double next double is going to convert it to a double and then return it and once we return it we need a place to store it so I'm going to create a double variable because what is what what is being returned is a double so I'm going to go ahead and create a double variable I'm going to call it user amount and then user amount is going to basically store what the user typed which has been converted to a double and, and return okay and been returned and yes all right so now we have we'll have by this point we'll have the transaction type transaction location and, and then the user amount so over here the first condition we have over here it said the user should enter e for the 
commodity exchange C for the New York um, New York um, exchange and then M for the mercantile exchange or something now we have the transaction location stored here well f the first actually the first condition is to actually check to check to see if the transaction type is a, a sale or a purchase so we'll come to this later so let's check to see if the transaction type is a sale or a purchase right so let's go ahead and create an if statement here I'm going to create the structure an if statement and I'm going to say that if the transaction type dot um, let's see all right so the user can can type um, let's see all right so I'm going to say if the transaction type okay dot to lowercase and I'll, ex I'll explain this in a second. So if the transaction type dot to lowercase dot equals sale, then we're going to do what's in this block. So basically, if the transaction type, the reason why I'm converting it to lowercase, basically transaction type dot to lowercase is going to basically convert the string here to lowercase. Because the user can, when we ask the user this question, Okay, the user can go ahead and type in something like sale. If we compare sale to this, the small caps here, sale, it's it's not going to be the same. The sale, this small sale with capital letter, and a sale with small letter, they are not the same. So the user can type in even this, or and then this. Okay, or something like this. I guess that looks. Okay, so the user can type in this. It's still sale, right? We, we want to convert it to lowercase so that it looks like this. What, what's it, what, whatever the user type, we're converting it to lowercase. And then comparing to see if it's the same as this. If it's the same as this, then it's then then, then that means the user typed in sale. If the user t goes ahead and types in sale as in small caps, it's still, when, when you convert what, what's already in small caps to small caps, you still get small caps. So no matter what we're going to convert what the user typed to to a lowercase, and we are comparing it to with a lowercase word sale. And that's why I'm com I'm, com I'm, com I'm 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 yeah I'm changing it from whatever it is to lowercase, whether whether it's lowercase or not. All right, so I'm comparing to see if the user typed in sale. Okay, so if the user typed in sale, we have a condition here. It, it says this: if the amount was a sale. Okay, if it was a sale. Okay and was made at the commodity exchange okay so now we have to now now this is the condition for if there was a sale now in this block we also have to check to see if the transaction location was for the first one is going to be commodity exchange because it said if the amount was a sale so we check here if it's a sale in this block we check to see if if it was made at the the commodity exchange meaning if the transaction location was e because e is what the user types for commodity exchange all right so we have to check to see if the transaction type was e and then we have what to do there so let's in this block we're going to check again and say if the transaction location okay if the transaction location now this time around i'm going to I'm going to compare it with the uppercase letter. So I'm going to say if, if, the, if the transaction location dot to uppercase, okay, dot equals E this way, all right? So if the user type in, let's say, a small, small letter E, I'm first of all converting it to an uppercase, so it's going to change to this. And it's going to compare with this E, and then they're going to match. If the user types in, let's say, B, B is going to be converted to an uppercase. They don't match. No matter what the user types, I want to convert it to uppercase first and check to see if it matches with this capital E because that's what the, the question said. The user should, should enter E for the commodity exchange, right? All right, so back to our condition. If the amount was a sale, we've checked to see if the amount was a sale. If it, if it was a sale and was made at the commodity exchange meaning if the transaction location is e which we've done here the commission rate is five percent 
of the amount, right? Then we, kn we know that 5% of the amount is the commission rate. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate 5% of the amount, the user amount here. So we know 5% is the same as 5 divided by 100, okay? 5% is the same as 5 divided by 100, 5 divided by 100. That's 5%, 0 0.05. But we're not going to write 0 0.05. We're actually going to calculate 5% here. So 5 divided by 100, we know that that's 5%. I'm going to surround it, with, surround it with parentheses because I want that to take effect first. And then five, five, five divided by 100, five percent off. Okay, so five divided by 100 times. You can read the multiplication sign as off. Okay, user amount. Okay, so five percent off user amount, and five percent of user amount over here it says that <clears throat> the commission rate. Oh, um, sorry. If the amount was a sale and was made at the commodity exchange, the, com the commission rate is 5% of the amount, the commission rate. So we know this is the, com um, so basically the, the, commis uh, the, the commission rate is 5%, right? But then the amount, the commission is going to be 5% of the amount, right? So this is going to be the commission basically. So we need a place to store it. So I'm going to go come up here, um, somewhere here, and then, and then declare a variable and call it commission. Commission we know is going to be a monetary value like let's say $5 or $10 or $25 or even $25.2 because it has the potential to be a decimal. I'm going to go ahead and define it as a double or declare it as a double. So double commission here. And then let's see. Yeah, so the commission now is going to be equal to this. If it was a sale and the transaction location was E, meaning if the, trans if the transaction location was a, was at the um, commodity exchange, right? All right. Now, what if we know that it's a sale? If it's a sale, what if the location wasn't E? Basically, what if what if the location wasn't wasn't at the commodity exchange? So let's create another else if else if block because the question said over here. Okay, over here, it, it went on to say, if a sale is made at the New York, if, if, if a sale, so already we know that we've checked to see if it's a sale. If a sale is made at the New York Cotton Exchange, we know that the, for the New York Cotton Exchange, you have to type in C, okay, to select that, that as a location. So basically, if the location is C, okay, if the sale is made at the New York Cotton Exchange, the commission rate is 3.7% of the amount. So it's going, to, it's going to be something like this, basically. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this if statement here. And paste it here, this way. All right, so I'm going to say else if the transaction location of uppercase dot, dot to uppercase dot equals C, meaning if they selected the cotton, the New York Cotton Exchange, okay, then the commission rate is 3.7% of the amount. So 3.7% is the same as 3.7 divided by 100 of the amount. So that's going to be a commission. It went on to say, if a sale, again, we know that it's a sale, If we, if we, in, in the case where it's a sale, if the location, if the sale is made at the mercantile exchange, the commission rate is 4.2% of the amount, right? So else if, again, else if the, this is, M. We know over here that the user has to type in M for the mercantile exchange. So if it's that, if it's the mercantile exchange, then the commission rate is, so over here it says, if a sale is made at the mercantile exchange, the commission rate is 4.2% of the amount. So 4.2% of the amount. Oops. 4.2% of the amount. All right. So now this is, this is going to, be checked when it's a sale, when the transaction type is a sale. If the transaction type is a sale, it's going to go ahead and check these conditions. If the location was, was at E, do this. If it was at C, do this. If it was at M, do this. Now, what if the transaction type wasn't a sale? Then it's possible, then actually based on this question, then it's a purchase, right? So this, after this, if we have to also check to see if, if it's not a sale, we have to check to see if it's a, a purchase.